Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 44. That is, what is use case? Let me answer. Use cases describe the functional requirements of a software from the end user's perspective. But who will create these use cases? In real time, use cases are generally created by business analyst, the one who knows the business well. Business analyst will create the use cases to describe the functional requirements of a software from the end user's perspective. After creating these use cases, business analyst will share these use cases, that is use case diagrams, with the project team where developers and testers are available. These developers and testers will go through these use cases, that is use case diagrams, to understand the application well. So this is what exactly the use cases are. But how does the use cases will look like? To understand how the use cases will look like, I'll explain you some basics, okay? So, the use cases are nothing but the use case diagrams and uh, they generally contain these components, okay? In the use case diagrams, we generally use or create systems, actors, use case and relation, okay? We represent the systems in the use case diagrams with this symbol known as this uh, kind of rectangle symbol, okay? Which is nothing but a system. Actor, we also represent some actors inside the use case diagrams. To describe these functional requirements of a software, all these components need to be represented in the use case diagrams and uh, these use case diagrams will be created by the business analyst and shared with the project team so that the project team can understand the application well okay that's what is the use cases are and apart from that uh, systems which are represented like this in the use case diagrams actors which are represented like this in the use case diagrams we represent the use cases like this okay in the diagram in the use case diagram we represent the use case multiple use cases can be represented in a single diagram guys and uh, they will be represented like this okay kind of oval symbol kind of relation okay there's one more thing like the relation okay the relation between this actor and the system and use case and all okay this kind of arrows will be there this is only one example guys there are multiple type of relations uh, possible in the use case diagram this is only one example so using all these kind of components we we represent this kind of components in the use case diagrams uh, to describe the functional requirements of a software from the end users perspective okay generally business analysts will do that so to revisit again the the explanation about uh, explanation about what exactly the use cases are use cases will be useful for communicating the ideas okay if someone has an idea and uh, that idea has to be communicated with other person or other people then the idea can be communicated in the form of this use cases that is use case diagrams okay we can represent the ideas using the symbols and all we can create the use case diagrams and uh, by representing or communicating these ideas in this diagrammatical format the other people or team can understand so business analyst will create these use cases for communicating the business ideas, business requirements or application flows that are expected to be developed and tested by the project team, okay? So in the form of use cases and use case diagrams, okay? So I'll finally show you uh, a kind of an example use case diagram, which is already created, okay? This is an example of a use case diagram, guys. For what it is created for a banking application, guys, okay? You see, here in the background, we have the blue color box, right? A blue color box is there. This blue color box is nothing but the system. I showed you right here, system will be represented in the like this, okay? The system. This is nothing but the system, guys. So banking application is represented as a system here. And there are some actors, you see? There are some actors I mentioned, right? There are some actors we'll use. So this in this example, the actors are the customers, okay? There are two types of customers here, new customer and existing customer. All these are actors. On the other side, bank is also an actor, okay? Uh, the actor can be a user or a another system, okay, or external system or an external device or whatever it can be. So it, uh, here, customer is represented as an actor and here, bank is represented as an actor. Inside the system, guys, you see some orange color oval kind of symbols are there. These are nothing but the use cases, okay? I showed you, right, uh, use cases will be represented as this oval symbol in the use case diagrams. These orange color things are nothing but the use cases okay for uh, and also there are some relationship between these uh, components right relationship between system actors and use cases and uh, we generally mention the relationship with this kind of arrows and all you see here the customer is trying to log in into the application okay so the relation between this actor and this use case is uh, this line okay we represent a relationship between this customer and uh, login use case with this line guys, okay that means customer is trying to log in into this banking application with some credentials and uh, based on that the application will verify okay another use case is there here that is verify password application will verify the password whether it is a correct password or in incorrect password or username and password okay so and after that guys okay the application will display some error message login error if the invalid credentials are provided login error will be displayed okay and uh, 
the customer can also view the balance okay so from this bank customer can view the balance customer can also deposit some amount into the bank customer can also make payment from this bank there are different type of uh, ways the customer can make the payment from this bank from credit credit card payment he can make and uh, he can pay from the savings account also okay so like this guys uh, some functionality has been described here right uh, some functionality of a software has been described in the form of this use case or use case diagram from the end user's perspective the diagram has been created in real world this kind of diagrams or use cases or use cases diagrams will be created by the business analyst and shared with the and later that particular use case diagrams will be shared with the project team where developers and testers are available and these developers and testers will go through this kind of use cases use case diagrams to understand the application well okay so hope guys you understood what exactly the use cases are so that's all for this session guys in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye